In this video we take a look at the rotary encoder. It is a incremental encoder and it can measure distance and direction. If you turn it will spin forever and give incremental position feedback. This means it don't know exactly where it is but it gives you a position in relation from where it was previously. Here you see how it works under the hood. Inside the rotary encoder are two switches. The switches are connected with output pins. Between those lines, this is one period or one cycle. If we turn clockwise, uh, this switch close and the voltage will go high. And just a split second later, inside the same cycle this switch this switch closed as well so if the Arduino input read that switch 1 is high first and switch 2 comes later then it knows that the rotary was in clockwise direction otherwise if in one cycle the input of switch 2 gets high first and switch 1 comes later, the Arduino knows that we turn counterclockwise. There is a built-in button inside. If we press here, we press the button. This pin is for switch 1, this for switch 2, and this one is for the button. Here you'll see how I connected the rotary encoder on the board. And in this close-up you'll see that I connect to capacitors on the switches and they are for debouncing if you want to know more about debouncing watch the link over here and to have a quick example we download a library we type in here encoder and you need the one from Paul Stoffregen so install that one if you have installed the library you go to file, examples and encoder and choice basic and it opens a new encoder file and make sure you change the switch pins to 2 and 3 like we set them up on the board. Let's compile it. Open the, the monitor and if I turn on the rotary encoder, you see it's, it's counting. And if I turn uh, counterclockwise, it's uh, going inside the minus. If you turn the shaft, you feel clicks. And one full turn has 20 stops. I found out that one click represents four digits so I updated the code a little bit I will put a link to the to this code below this video and uh, now it uh, writes down everything in a, in one click this is one click I turn clockwise and then it adds four to it like four eight twelve all the way to forty and over here I just turn half a click and then I turn back and then you'll see that it adds one subtracts one and adds one again. What I try to show you here is that we have a crate control to adjust the if we turn and we know the behavior of one click then you have crate control to adjust things. Uh, this is uh, good for now. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video and we'll make another one about how to use the, the button. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Please subscribe. And see you in the next video.